Welcome you all to this new session. In this session, we will learn how to back up a course from Moodle LMS and how to restore the same in other Moodle LMS platform. Now, all of you have designed your Moodle course in GNMIO platform. Suppose your college has started a new LMS, a new Moodle LMS, and you need to design a Moodle course page in your college LMS. No need to design a new page in college LMS. You can back up your Moodle course from your GNMIO platform and you can restore the same in college Moodle LMS platform. So this is the option which is available in Moodle you, or you can back up your course and you can restore the course in other Moodle LMS platforms. We will see how to perform this activity. Suppose I want to restore this course in my college LMS. For that first I need to back up my course then I can restore this course in college LMS. So go to your course setting button right here click that one you can see an option backup you can see a backup option is there click backup so these are the option if you want to include enrolled users you can select this tick otherwise if you, want, if you don't want to include enrolled users you please disable that option then click next okay next so you can see all the activities will be restored back to your college LMS. Then click perform backup. It will depend on your network speed. So now the backup file was successfully created. Click continue. You can see a file with extension. So this is important dot m b is it so module 2 course 2 module trial so 16 7 2020 this is the file and you can download the same it will take some time so this is the backup file now i want to restore this file back to another course page this is my moodle personal web page which I am using for my college students. I want to restore that Moodle trial course here. For that, go to site administration. Then click. Click courses here. Click courses. Then you can see restore course. Restore course. Select restore course. Here you can drop that file here. So this is a file. Just drag and drop here. It will take some time to complete the restore process. Now it is completed. Then click restore. So see complete all the steps. By clicking continue here you need to select a option restore as a new course or restore into an existing course I wish to restore that one as a new course so under which category I am just adding under miscellaneous category then click continue include enrollment methods so no click next We want to give course start date or course end date you can provide here otherwise click next perform restore the course was restored successfully clicking continue button it will take you to view the course you restore so click continue so depending on your internet speed you can complete this restore process now that course has been restored here so this is a very useful process in this way you can back up a course and you can restore the same course in some other Moodle LMS platform if you want to delete this course the process is very simple 
go to site administration go to site administration then click courses manage courses and categories here you can see this Moodle pair if I want to delete this course click this delete button then click delete Moodle trial has been completely deleted click continue now it has been completely deleted from my personal web page rakeshmook.gnmio.com this is my personal Moodle page for my college student so in this way you can restore and as well as you can back up the course in some other LMS platform so these are the various provisions available in Moodle so I hope now you are realizing why we are saying Moodle LMS is a professional platform and what is the advantage of this Moodle LMS over other LMS like Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams or Canvas etc. So if possible use this Moodle platform to engage the online class teaching in your colleges. Hope you understand all these activities. If you have any doubts please share the same in your telegram group or in your discussion forum thank you